we have an unusual um, way of looking at uh, rare diseases and a large chunk I believe that's missing is awareness to, you know, it took 18 years for to get my daughter diagnosed. There needs to be another way to grab the attention of the medical community. And that's the way this started. So we, we started an art exhibit uh, where we have artists from all over the world painting children from all over the world with rare diseases. And we have one portrait for each rare disease. And the portrait then travels to, uh, we attended it only for it to travel to medical schools, but now it goes to research institutes, it goes to hospitals. Uh, we recently started doing uh, disease-specific conferences, which I never expected because I thought, why would you know they want it? Because there's only one portrait with their disease. Uh, but it turned, we have about, I think we're doing five uh, this fall of, uh, for d disease-specific conferences which is a brand new, and I love them. I love, that's my favorite to go to is, is you know, because it's, for me, my kids have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. So when I'm at a conference, I don't care what disease you have, we're connecting because you're living in this, this you're, you know, on the same journey that I'm on. So um, it's really enjoyable. It's been amazing. I mean, they've been, they've been able to connect with us in a way that they ha have never connected with us. Um, they don't look, as, look at us as a disease. Um, they're now connected to our humanity. So they're able to, um, I find that they're more motivated. I find that they're, you know, just much more engaged. And I've had people send me messages after seeing the portraits. I didn't know about this disease, you know, for researchers and doctors. And now I'm, I'm learning about it because, I mean, we've had, you know, uh, venues that we've gone to that have had fellows do research on diseases that were represented in the art exhibit. Uh, it, beyond, it's, 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 it's just really not, we, we didn't expect things to be this, um, effective, that art could be this effective. I expected it to be some kind of small, you know, exhibit that would travel just around New England. And now we're talking about going to Europe. So we're really excited. We did an exhibit um, in conjunction with the Mayo Clinic at the Rochester Art Center. And the Rochester Art Center um, brought uh, it was beyond the diagnosis. They had 42 portraits, which is the most we've ever done at a venue. And they had uh, Rick Guadotti from Positive Exposure. And they had a uh, traveling exhibit from the Smithsonian about the human genome. And it was amazing. It was just amazing. And um, we, we heard a lot of good things about, you know, people, uh, their reaction to the exhibit at, at uh, Rochester. It was there for a couple of months. And 